When a Roman was disgusted by death in the arena, he probably wasn't watching gladiators. The gladiators usually fought in the afternoon. If you arrived early, as Seneca once did, you were treated to the sight of prisoners being forced to fight unprotected until they were all dead. It's pure, unadulterated murder. There's no helmet, no shield to repel the blade. Why bother with skill? All that just delays death. As soon as a man kills, they shout for him to kill another or be killed. He's specifically disgusted because the excuse for the bloodshed has been removed. If the excuse is that it promotes manliness to have the spectacle of people dying bravely, there's nothing manly about the spectacle of someone just being chopped up, a defenceless person being attacked. Seneca had no objection to gladiators being killed. They were manly fighters whose deaths were educational. Cicero, Pliny, they all said the same. Just look at the gladiators and look at the wounds they endure. If they have given satisfaction to their masters, they are happy to die. Not spineless. Not flabby, but an inspiring spectacle, demonstrating the love of praise and desire for victory. Did it work? Well, Cicero was lucky enough to be able to test it for himself. He was condemned to death by the state. And when the executioners overtook him, he was being carried in his litter. And faced with death, I'm glad to say that Cicero proved he'd learned his lesson from the gladiators. He thrust his head forward and accepted the death blow as he'd been shown in the amphitheatre. 